So I wanted to add a thermostat to the thermoelectric cooler because it draws quite a lot of amps um, when it's running. So this is just a bit of a time lapse to show you it's actually going down. I set it to eight degrees um, to uh, to turn off and then it creeps back up and then it starts again at 10 degrees. And that's just two degree difference and that's inherent in the thermostat as you get it. So it's just the lowest temperature you set. So the thermostat I got was just off eBay. There's a little temperature probe that um, I drilled a hole and put it on the inside. Then what I did is I didn't touch any of the AC wires. They just came in as they were normally, and that was wired and as it was normally. But the DC, what I did is I actually split the DC and I put it through the thermostat. And I'm going to show you the wiring that I did with the thermostat. Um, the wiring then comes out. Um, and then with the switch unit, the switch unit was actually, um, the switch was burnt out. So what I did was I actually just bridged the wires there and I bridged them so that it was constantly on cold. So that hot light will never come on that hot LED. It's just the cold LED that will be permanently on um, when, it's, when it's running. And um, there was a couple of other things that I did that I'll just show you. I did have to modify the, um, the relay a bit. The um, temperature sensor comes out of there and I just put it, um, drilled a little hole and pushed it through um, with a grommet. So it just gets pushed through the um, polystyrene, a smaller hole as I could, put a grommet on the, the other side and then um, it just dangles at the top of the cooler and at the top because that's the hottest part of the cooler. So let me just show you the wiring. So what I did was the top wire that goes into the thermostat um, is ground. So when I cut the wires, I put the wire coming in from the plug and the wire going out to the um, P Peter uh, Peltier um, unit. I twisted them together and put them in the ground. So it's a common ground. Then what I did was I bridged the positive that was coming into the thermostat with the um, with the relay. So if you have a look, there's a blob of solder there. And then out of the relay, I took the, which the contact is the KO, which is a normally open. I took that out and then put that to the Peltier. That means that the Peltier unit starts cycling. So what happens is it's running. When it gets down to eight degrees, the Peltier unit turns off. As it warms up, and gets to uh, 10 degrees because there's a two degree difference built into this thermostat. It Peltier turns on again and it brings it back down slowly to eight degrees. So when the unit is on to set it, you press the set button and then we just move up or down with the temperature that we actually want it set at. So if we want it at eight degrees, we bring it down to eight degrees and we press set again. So if we look again, we press it and there it's set at eight degrees. And that'll run until it gets down to eight degrees. It'll turn off. When it goes up by two degrees, it'll then turn back on again. And one of the other things that I did is on the inside, I put the temperature sensor right on the very top. And the reason for that is that that's gonna be the warmest part of this. So when you pack it up, and the other thing is as well is when you pack it up, you're not gonna have that interfered with. It'll just bend out the way if it needs to be bent out the way. It'll bend out the way if we need it to be bent out the way. A lot of power. So if we cycle it and it's running for, um, say three quarters of the time, then our average is gonna be drawing three amps. So three amps times 12 is, is gonna be running at about 36 watts which is a lot more efficient. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, good luck. Look, look in the link and you'll find the, the unit on eBay.